We've often heard growing up that students can't learn on a hungry stomach. Well, those words prompted one international-based voluntary group to step in and help alleviate nutrition problems among a group of special needs students in Kingston. TVJ's Ken Morgan has more in this week's edition of A Ray of Hope. A Ray of Hope. It doesn't look like your conventional bank, nor does it hold money. But what this container holds is just what the people here need. It's a food bank, and thanks to the Kiwanis Club International and local sponsors, students at the Abilities Foundation in Kingston can worry less about food and focus more on schoolwork. Persons with disabilities struggle financially to find stuff, so food, one of the essential stuff, is affected. So they came on board because they wanted to improve that. Lieutenant Governor for 23 East of the Kiwanis Club in Eastern Canada and the Caribbean District, Pam Rodney White, says each year the club selects a project to sponsor. This year's focus was on persons living with disabilities. Hearing from Ms. Hamilton that the, the nutritional needs were great for the trainees here, we just thought that it would be great just having a food bank. From inception when we told the students about it, they were excited because they wanted to know how would this really help them without costing them what they don't have. Mrs. Rodney White says that this is the first of what's expected to be a continuous venture. She says the bank will not only cater to students at the facility, but also disabled persons in surrounding communities. Going home now, I'm going to have something to eat when I go home. It's uh, different from being home and have no clue where I'm going to get the next thing to eat. I would love to, say, to tell the Kiwanis Club thanks very much. And I hope they will come again soon. Mrs. Rodney White adds that the bank will also provide training opportunities. The students here is going to be like a work and study program for them because working in the, in the food bank themselves, they will get training in uh, inventory, customer service. That sort of thing because we're going to use one third of it as an office. She's calling on more sponsors to help sustain the program. The needs are great. We have found that, you know, even those on the PATH program, those in the community. And so we welcome all who would want to come on board and assist us. Your body's healthy then, you're more able to think, learn, function. So I think it will go a long way. With a ray of hope, I'm Ken Morgan. A ray of hope.